Hi guys, what's up? It's Tina and I'm back with a new video. Today I wanted to do a creative process with digital manipulation. If you don't know what that is, it's basically taking existing images and combining them together and making it look like a really surreal or realistic photo um, with different images that you put together. Most of it is done in Photoshop, so I thought I would take you guys through my process. So. Let's get started. First thing is that I want to find some really high quality images. Um, let's see, for this, I want to have a photo of someone that's looking into the light. Well, actually, I really like this one. Uh, from Loriko Yamaguchi. Hopefully I said that right. What a great photo. Thank you, Loriko. So, I like this photo. And what I'm thinking about is I want to create an image. Um, so instead of that light bulb being there, I kind of want her to hold something that glows and is maybe alive. So the first thing I'm thinking about is dragonflies um, at night. So I would probably replace the background with a more outdoorsy natural scene. And then instead of her holding the light bulb, it's going to be like dragonflies in her hand. And this um, warm yellow temperature already in the photo is going to make my life a lot easier and it's going to look so dope. So I'm just going to keep looking at photographs and putting it together and I'll check back in with you guys when I found all the photos I want. So first of all, find the photos that you really want um, to create your new image with. And there's so many websites, I will link my other video in the description um, where you can find cool photos for free that are very high quality. First, use your pen tool to go over your subject and this is to separate the subject from the background that we're going to be cutting out. So making sure that you get as close to the edge as possible. You don't want to get too much of that background. I would recommend that you go a little bit inside the subject of the outline just to get as accurate as possible. Once you've got that, you want to go in the top left and hit the selection button. Then on the bottom right, click the rectangle with the circle, which is the add vector mask. And make sure your layer is selected. Now this mask rectangle should appear on that layer and you want to hit select and mask. This window should appear and you want to just go over the edges with your brush and it's just, just going to refine the edges and bring back some of the details. Feel free to mess with the properties on the right side. Now I'm just touching up that layer and using a white background so I can see the details a little bit better and I'm just refining the edges a little bit more. So with my background of the forest, in the filter menu I'm going into blur gallery and then I'm going to use tilt shift so that I can get a little bit more detail on the front and have it a little more blur in the back and then go over that with another Gaussian blur. I'm touching up the subject again um, just to make it look more realistic using the dodge and the burn tool. Now I'm dragging in my images of the dragonflies that I found. Then I'm creating a new adjustment later with that circle icon on the bottom and changing the hue and saturation of the dragonflies. I'm also messing around with the lightness so that I can match that same temperature of that glow. Then you want to hold the alter option key to clip that layer onto the image. And then just copy and pasting that layer style to the other dragonflies. Then on the bottom right, I'm going into the FX icon, which is the layer style and choosing the outer glow effect and changing the color because I want the dragonflies to glow a little bit more. Now you want to create a new layer and then go to your brush tool and scroll all the way down to the special effect brushes. And with this, I want to use one of these splatter tools to create glowing particles around the dragonflies. And I'm just going to like mess around with that and do different sizes. And then I'm going to add that outer glow to them as well. I'm creating another layer and using the soft round brush on the dragonflies because I want them to glow even more. Then in the drop down, I just changed the layer style to screen so that the glow blends in a little better with the image and then just slightly lowering the opacity. Then with the dodge tool, I'm lightening up her face and around her hand area so that it's a little lighter. Then I'm doing the same thing with the dragonflies, adding a new layer with the soft brush tool and putting that near her face and her hand. I'm selecting her eye and I'm slightly going to brighten it up. 
Now to add final touches, I'm going to the new adjustment layer and using photo filter to get that more orange yellowy tone to the whole image in itself. And just adding more final touches using the burn and dodge tool, touching up the image and once you're happy with it, then you're done. So again, final before picture and then after. So let me know if I made it better or did I just completely destroy the image. Honestly, I like it. I think it gives it that surreal fantasy vibe which I was going for and I really like how it turned out. Hopefully you guys learned something new in this video. It was really fun to make. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you won't have any more tutorial requests or you want me to do another one um, with like a certain prompt, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace!